Adding forms to your Convertry pages is easy and fully customizable. There are two elements to every form. Form inputs, which are the elements you drag onto your page for your prospects to enter their details. And the behind the scenes forms configuration. It's a good idea to configure your forms before you add input elements to your page. There are three ways to do this. API, HTML or email. Form APIs let you connect to popular services for easy integration. HTML lets you embed your own form code. And email lets you send submitted form information to your main account email. So to set up an API form, click the Forms button in the top toolbar. In the Configure Forms dialog, click on the type of service you want to integrate, autoresponder or webinar. Then choose your service from the menu. If you haven't integrated your service already, you'll be prompted to open integrations in a new tab. You can integrate your services or remove them at any time by heading to the dashboard and clicking integrations in the left hand menu. Depending on the service you connect, you'll be prompted to choose the list you want your form to add prospects to. Next, Connect the form fields in your service to the form input you'll add to your Convertry page. When you select a field type here, that's the field the information will be entered into in the autoresponder or webinar service. If you want to collect information that doesn't have a corresponding field type, you can use any one that isn't already mapped and match it using the properties panel when your form input elements are selected. Some form fields are fixed, so they cannot be changed. When you're done, click on Post Submission Redirect in the left-hand menu to enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they click Submit. And finally, click Done. You can connect both autoresponder and webinar services to one form to sign up prospects to both lists at once. Simply repeat steps 2 to 5 to add another service. So now your form is connected to your page and you can add form inputs. Alternatively, to set up your HTML form, click on the Forms button in the top toolbar. We'll just have to remove this autoresponder form so the HTML form can work. OK, in the Configure Forms dialog, click on Forms, New Form, and then form from HTML code. Give your form a name and enter the HTML code for your form. Then click Create. Click the small arrow to the right of your form name to connect it to the page. Finally, just click Done. To set up an email form, click on Forms in the top toolbar. And I'll just have to get rid of this HTML form so the email form can work. OK, click on Email in the left hand menu. And toggle Email Notifications to On. Edit the subject line if you need. Email notifications will be sent from support at convertrynotifications.com, so be sure to add that to your VIP or contacts list. When you're done, click on Post Submission Redirect to enter the URL of the page you want your prospects taken to after they click Submit. Finally, just click Done. OK, so once you've connected your form, it's time to add the form inputs. These are the elements your prospects will interact with on your page. So click on the Form Elements button in the Elements tray and choose the input you want to add first, then drag it onto your page. In the Properties panel, click on Form Field Settings to map your form fields to the values you assigned when you configured your form service. If you set up a form with HTML or API, Field types will be shown in bold on the drop-down. 
choose your field type to make sure the input is sent to the form service correctly. Remember, if you want to collect information that doesn't have a corresponding field type, you can use any one that isn't already mapped and match it using the Forms dialog. Next, choose whether this field is required and whether you want the field validated, i.e. as a real email address. Credit card input form elements are already mapped to your payment processor settings so they don't need to be configured. Next, just repeat that step for every form field you want to include. Finally, to complete your form, you'll need a Submit button. So click on Form Elements in the Elements tray and drag over Submit. With your Submit button selected in the Properties panel, click on Button Settings and choose Submit from the Mode drop-down menu. You can also change button text, colour and other options in the Properties panel. You can also add a bump sale to your page by first assigning a product to your page, find out how in the help docs, and dragging over a bump sale form field element. This will create a checkbox which, when selected, will add an additional purchase to a customer's order.